and let's uh, let's let the games begin. Instead of starting with bird dogs, which we've done like ten times already, we're gonna start out standing up. Alrighty, folks, nice and tall. Um, we're gonna do the compass drill, <clears throat> um, and I'm actually just gonna we're gonna walk through this one together. Um, we're just gonna do one each leg, and then we'll do what we got next. Then we're gonna do. We'll do dead bugs for 30 seconds each side. So I'm gonna demonstrate the dead bugs real quick so that we know what the heck to do when that time comes. The dead bugs, folks, we're gonna have legs straight up, arms straight up. If you gotta bend the knees a little bit, that's totally legit. That's, we're gonna get the shoulders up off the ground, a little baby crunch. I'll take one arm back behind you and the opposite leg down in front of you, trying to lengthen out back to the center. Again, you can go with straight legs, going opposite leg to the ground as the arm, all right? So we're gonna start out with the compass. We'll come back on the mat for dead bugs, 30 seconds a side, and we'll repeat it for a second set. So that compass, let's start that up, y'all. So compass drill, let's go ahead. We'll start this now. We're gonna pick up our right leg, nice and high, just a little bent knee right here. Get as high as you can. Tina, fantastic. Now we're gonna try to straighten our leg out. Oh yeah, here we go. The shakes will begin. Then we'll hug the leg in. Give it a good squeeze there, y'all. Now, if we can keep at this new height, straighten it back out, woo, then swing it open to the side, right out to your side there, and then we'll hug it back to our chest, maybe aiming this knee for the opposite shoulder right here. Come a little bit across, get the glutes a little up back here, then we're going right back out to the side. Release the leg, take it back to the side, and now make sure you have room behind you. We're gonna take it all the way back behind us into a little single leg RDL. Now from here, if we can hold this position, my right leg's back behind me, let's reach the right arm in front of me. We'll sweep that arm open. My thumb is up to the sky. Now if we can, bend the right knee, foot goes in the hand. Should we grab that big toe, beautiful. Now from here, Sunday, welcome. We got the compass drill. We'll reach out, kick up into the hand. Oh, slowly release, relax, and let's knock out the left leg. So it starts out with the left knee nice and high. We'll try to squeeze that quad, straighten it out. Then we'll give it a hug, give it some love. Ooh, we got some fancy beach background going on. Very nice. Working out at the beach. Now, we're gonna re release that right back to the front, sweep it out to the side. Nice and high, nice posture. Bring it across the left knee to the right shoulder if we can. Very nice, and then we'll send it right back out to the side. Holding strong. If your knee's bent crazy low, don't worry about that. Just try to keep the leg straight, just try to stand on one foot, and then take that leg behind you. Make sure you're not kicking over any lamps. A nice furniture you may have. Left hand goes in front. Sweep it back behind. The thumb is up to the sky. Bend the left knee. Ooh, maybe the foot goes to the hand. Grab that sucker. Reach the right hand. Kick into the hand. Kicking high. Slowly release right there. And then we're going to do dead bugs for 30 seconds. Let's grab my handy dandy TikTok clock. Uh-oh, come on. All right, 30 seconds, y'all. We're on our backs, legs up, ready, set, go. Legs sky high, we're just alternating, nothing crazy fast here. As you lengthen, try to inhale, exhale. And, and now, here we go, Sunday. On the backs, legs high, down and up. I can, there you go, beautiful. We got 10 more seconds here, y'all. Just make sure you're breathing. <sighs> nice exhales, full inhales. <sighs> and recover. Back on your feet for round two. There we go. So the compass, nice and slow, y'all. Starts out, right knee up. Straighten that puppy out. Hug it in nice and close. Then put it back where you had it. Sweep it out to the side. Hug it in nice and close. Put it back out to the side. Sweep it all the way around. Don't knock over your lamps or whatever, TV. 
right hand open, sweep the shoulder, bend the knee, foot goes in the hand. Oh, there you go, Tina. You got it, Tina. Beautiful Sunday, nicely done. Slowly release, and the other side. Left knee up nice and high. Left knee goes straight, hug it in nice and close. Back out in front, sweep it open to the side. Hug that sucker back in the chest, across the body. Back out to the side, sweep all the way behind. Watch out for the bookshelf. Very nice, once you establish, left hand open. Sweep the shoulder, bend the knee, grab the foot, kicky, kicky, high up in the sky. Release, relax, back on the ground. Dead bugs, round two, ready, set, go. Legs are straight if you can, shoulders off the ground. Just squeeze those quads if you're going for the straight legs. Keep the shoulders off the ground. Just a little tiny crunch. We got six seconds here, folks. Three, two, one, and relax right there. Beautiful. Moving on, we're going to go for groiners for 30 seconds with a twist. And then we'll do our down dog toe touch for 30 seconds. So our groiners with a twist. We're in our push-up position. Right foot comes right outside the right hand. The right hand goes up to the sky, big proud chest. Make sure here, folks, just a little, little, little focus point. This shoulder that is on the, that's, that's our support, don't let that sucker go in towards this knee. Be nice and strong. I want to keep this shoulder packed into the ground. Don't let it get all trappy and kind of collapsing here. Be nice and strong and engaging through that shoulder into the hand, into the elbow, into the ground. Every single twist. Cool. Then you flip it over. Boom. Now this shoulder's nice and strong. Cool. 30 seconds there. Then we'll go down dog toe touch. Plank push up position. We'll hike the hips up nice and high. Take our left hand to the right ankle if we can. Give a nice twist in that upper back. Set it back down and repeat on the other side. We'll just alternate there for 30 seconds. All righty. So we got two sets here. Starting with the grunter with the twist, and three, two, one, begin. Push up position, right foot, right hand to the sky. Switch them out, left foot, left hand to the sky. Take your time, try to feel those shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. Every single twist, I like even rotate my neck, take my eyes on that hand. Maybe even look behind you a little bit. We've got 10 seconds left here. You can go rapid fire if you're feeling good. Already knocked out a run this morning. If you're moving a little slow today, totally fine. A little too many Easter eggs. Take your time there, folks. Relax right there. Down dog, toe touches in three, two, one, begin. Push up position, hips to the sky. Right hand, left foot, a little crisscross. You can reset in your push up position every time if you'd like, or if you want to stay in the down dog for each touch, you can do that, then reset. Or you can just see how long you can stay in your down dog position, just alternating, touching the toes, touching the ankle, kind of reset whenever you feel like you need it. Okay, we only got five more seconds here. Three, two, one, relax. Let's check out the wrist for a second there, because we got a lot. We got a whole nother set here. Here we go. In three, two, one, hit it. Runners with the twist. Right foot, right hand to the sky, big twist. Switch out the feet, reaching high. And we're gonna try to keep that back leg as straight as possible so we get some hip flexor love on whatever leg is behind us during this groiner. 10 seconds left. Make sure we're breathing. Three, two, one and relax right there onto our downward dogs with the toe touch begin hips are high reaching and reaching reset whenever you need to folks whether it's every single touch every two touches every 10 touches whatever it is for you today just make sure you get a little challenge all right really want to focus on that overhead position opening up that lat this guy right here y'all feel that little stretch through the side body 
as you reach for that ankle, foot, shin, whatever you can get to. If you can just get to the knee, totally fine. Try to get as low as you can though, every single rep. That's good right there, folks. Woo, two sets done. Now, moving on, we're gonna go for some balance work. We have our single leg RDL. Now, if that compass was, whoa, all crazy, wiggly, wobbly on you, you can feel free to grab a chair, use a wall, couch, whatever you got, put your hand on, that's totally fine. We're just gonna to try to focus on one foot, one ankle, one knee, stacking and engaging and supporting our entire body weight on, while we hinge. So what does that look like? We pick up a foot, it's just that last part of the compass, reaching that leg back, standing up nice and tall. Tough on this, the little pad there, carpet's a little easier. You can feel free to bend this knee a smidge. Just don't go too crazy on it with the heel popping up. We wanna to try to stay flat footed here, reaching the hips back, not just the knee forward like that. Cool, we'll go 30 seconds on one leg. Feel free to have a little wall support here. Just try to get as low as you can and making sure we have nice posture here. Don't think, oh, I need to drop my chest and you end up doing some hunchback stuff like this. That's not what we're looking for. We wanna to try to get some length in those hammies, glutes, calf, all this good stuff here. Nice little like a bowstring, pulling it back, great tension and release, standing back nice and tall. We'll go 30 seconds on one leg, switch it up, 30 seconds on the other leg. Then we're gonna go wide stance, T-spine rotations. So we've done the wide stance RDLs a whole bunch the past few weeks. Now we're gonna pause at the bottom Hands can reach right down to the center. We're reaching one hand up, other hand stays down. We want to try to open up this chest, try to reach this arm back. It's going to be tempting to have this shoulder as we come up here. It's going to be tempting to kind of cram it in here. Eee, that's real, real, real nice right there, right? No, we want to separate, create space between your ear and the shoulder from this position from the start as you rotate, keep that distance as much as possible as you rotate. It doesn't matter how high your hand gets. No one's, no one's keeping score here. You just wanna to try to move your upper back as much as possible without getting all shruggy. Sound good? Awesome, y'all. So starting with the single leg RDL, pick a leg in your leg. If you have weights, fantastic. Now's a great time to use those. We'll give you guys about five seconds. And excellent day. Ready, set, begin. We got three sets here. So if you're like, oh man, I need to get my balance first. Totally fine. Don't worry about the weights. We will do this two more sets. Just find the balance first. Make sure this hip isn't going sky high. Square those hips off. We're already halfway through this first leg. Try to see, make your goal. Keep this foot off the ground for all 30 seconds. Yeah, do whatever dance you gotta do to make sure that you hold this foot off the ground for 30 seconds, which time is up right there. Let's switch out the legs, ready, set, go. Reaching back, standing tall. A little tiny bend in the knees, fine folks, even if it's a little bit bigger than tiny, say a regular size bend, who knows. Just try to keep the foot flat, keeping our nice posture and keeping this foot off the ground the whole time. We got about 10 seconds here. Standing tall, reach back, standing tall. Two, one, and recover. Wide stance, T-spines, y'all, here we go. We're gonna the feet wide, hands down the center. Ready, set, begin. Reaching up, nice high, we are. Should feel quite the sensation in the upper back. Try not to reach behind you a whole lot. Try to reach up for the ceiling, right above you there, folks. And if it helps, you can feel free to put the hand behind the head if your shoulder's kind of pinching. Kind of do the old comb your hair style, whoop, armpit to the sky. Or we can always keep those arms straight. Feeling those shoulder blades squeezing and recover right there, folks. So that's one set right there. If you have the weights, you want to give them a shot with the RDLs. Now's the time in three, two, one, begin, pick a leg, any leg, and keep that foot off the ground for 30 seconds, folks. Woo, it's fine to lose your balance for a second. Can you use your athletic ability to recapture your balance, folks? That's the challenge right here. Not about how low you go or how many reps you get. 
how can we keep this foot challenged for 30 seconds? This knee, this posture, can we maintain it the whole time? We got three, two, one, switch and repeat. Other leg, stand tall. You may feel the jiggles in the lower ankle, in the arches, in the toes. If you're not barefoot, you're missing out a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can just kick the shoes off to the next set if you'd like. We'll give you a second for that. But man, having those toes gripping the ground, there's nothing quite like it. Help strengthen the arches, all the little stabilizers, all those neurons that need some love in that foot. That's good right there, folks. We're going wide stance right on into it. Set your weights down. Ready, set, go. Feet are wide, hands go high. There we go. And don't feel like you have to be crazy low here, folks. If you're a little bit taller like this, that's totally fine. Just try to keep a nice posture. But if you've got the hammy length, let's challenge it today. See how low we can go. Maybe see how wide we can go. Maybe get your hands to the ground. You can kind of rest your fingertips. You can get that low. We got two seconds. One more twist and relax. Woo! Like I said, folks, if you're wearing shoes, feel free to kick them off right now. This one's going to be a special one. Third set. Ready, set, begin. Woo! Taking it back. Standing tall. There we go, Sunday. Got the dumbbells. Got the beautiful posture. Very nice. There you go, Tina. Here we go, about halfway here now. Here we go, double time working on the speed coming up. A little speed can challenge the balance as well. Just make sure you maintain control. We got two seconds, one, recover, switch them out, right onto the other leg and begin. Stand and tall. Don't get too cocky. If the balance is all crazy right now, folks, try to focus your eyeballs on one point. Maybe it's a little design on the carpet, the rug, the couch, the wall, whatever you got. Laser focus on that one piece should help you find some nice alignment and recover right there. Last one here, y'all. Wide stance, how wide can we go? We'll hinge over, hands on the ground, Rotations, ready to go. That's been done. Take a look at it, folks. Easy peasy. There you go. Sometimes going a little bit slower can be a little bit tougher on this one, y'all. So give it a shot. Change up the tempo a little bit. We got about seven seconds. Four, three, Two, one, and relax right there. Woo, doggy. Gotta get your heart rate going a little bit. Next up, folks, we're gonna go pogo jumps. All right, it's gonna be like our imaginary jump rope. We're gonna go three jumps and then one squat jump and then right into your pogos again. So, this is the only thing we gotta count today. You gotta count to three. One, two, three. Hopefully, we can manage that. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. It's gonna look like this. You have watch your head, ceiling fans and whatnot. So it's going to be one, two, three, right into a squat and a jump. One, two, three, down and up. One, two, three, down and up. Don't think, no, don't try to force any height here. The key here is just we want to be bouncy. Try to find some nice bounce in those ankles and the knees. You can bend the knees a little bit, but it's not like a bunch of squat jumps. It's just a little pogo. Think about jumping rope. Three of those, then we'll get a full squat, big jump, right into three more pogos. All righty, we'll do that for 30 seconds, followed by Superman holds. This one, we're gonna do a little three second pause each time. We'll go on our bellies, be a nice pretty posture, your arms out in front. We'll go up, three, two, one, and down. Big keys here, folks, the glutes. These bad boys are gonna protect your back. Yes, we are going to work your lower back. Yes, you will feel some sensation, some fatigue eventually in your lower back. If it's super pinchy, probably need to engage those abs a little bit more. Try to think about driving your hips 
into the ground during these Superman to make sure that everything is supported and we're not making our low back do 100% of the work. It needs some support from the abs and the glutes. Cool? We'll go 30 seconds there, three second hold at the top, and we'll repeat that for three sets. Sound good? I'm gonna get a sip of water. Ah, stay hydrated, folks. So, pogo jumps into squat jumps, three to one, starting in three, two, one, begin. Quick little hops, down and up, one, two, three, 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 hey -ya. pop, pop, pop. Quick little pogos. Nice, quick, explosive. Get up as high as you can on those jumps, folks. Reaching up. Maybe you could touch the ceiling. We got five seconds. Two, one, more. Jump and relax, Tina. A little early on that one, huh? I saw you. So next, we're going to Superman, y'all. We're on our bellies. On your marks. Get set and go. Little one, two, three, and down. Squeeze the glutes. One two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. Lifting those hands up too, folks. And down. One, two, three, and down. Try to lower down. One, two, last one, hold it, and relax. Woo, baby. All right, back on your feet, folks. It's time for more pogos. And if you if you feel like you can do a double squat jump, maybe a little hey -ya, hey -ya, right into your pogos, feel free to add in an extra one. All right, it's gonna help that explosiveness a little bit. So pogos in three, two, one, begin. One, two, three, down and up. One, two, three, we are. Punching the ground, pop, pop, pop. Big arms reaching up, reach those hands high, y'all. There you go. Here we go, halfway there. There you go, jump out of the screen, folks. Jump out of there. We got five seconds. Keep it going. Let's go, one more, one more, one more. Big jump, big jump. And relax. Woo. On your back, on your bellies. Superman, in three, two, one, begin. Holding up, and easy down. One, two, and a three, easy down. One, easy down. One, two, three, easy down. Up, one, two, three, easy down. 10 seconds. One, two, three, easy down. Reach your hands as high as you can here, folks. One, two, three. Easy down right there, hot dang. Two sets down, folks, let's get one more. Here we go, on your feet, pogos. And three, two, one, hit it. hey -ya. here we go, Sunday. hey -ya. big jump, y'all, big jump, big jump, big jump, get up. Big fast hands, fast hands down and up. Here we go. Let's see a double jump here. Oh, Sunday with the double. Beautiful. Uh oh, let's just go all squat jumps. Just no more pose. Just keep jumping. We got three, two, one, and relax. Hey, really nice job there, folks. I appreciate the challenge. Back on your belly, Superman time. In three, two, one, hit it. And they're high, easy down. And they're high, easy down. Lift the thumbs, easy down. Remember, squeeze the glutes, easy down. Squeeze the abs, easy down. 10 seconds here, y'all. Yeah. Here we go. Last one. Ready? Hold. Hold. And relax. Hot dang. There's three sets, folks. Now, the final little bits. We're going to go 
yoga push-ups and side planks, y'all. Or yoga push-up. Feel free, you can do this on the couch even. So if you have like a, uh, what do they call that thing? An ottoman. Something that you can like put your hands on so that you're not going on the ground. We can go down dog or push up from here. Just something to elevate the hands just so we can get that nice full range of motion. I'm not worried about how parallel you're, you're getting today. Um, so even if it's on the couch or a chair, that's totally legit. Let's just really try to increase that range of motion today. See if we can touch like right at the bottom of your like little breastbone right here. Little sternum, that little guy. See if you can contact the ground or a chair or something like that right there. And we're going to the down dog after that. Uh, then we'll have side planks. You can go elbow, leg up, maybe a little elbow to knee tap, maybe a little toe tap, whatever you got today. Maybe just holding here, or we can hold with the hand. This can be a little easier on the shoulder, but a little tough on the elbow. Um, so feel free to explore your options there, folks. We're gonna go 30 seconds on the yogas, 30 seconds side on the right, 30 seconds side on the left, and we'll try to get what we got. Probably two sets in, all right? Ready? Yoga push-ups, begin. Nice and low, sky high, hips to the sky. Right on forward. Get that shoulder range of motion. See if you can just touch the ground, touch the chair, touch the couch, whatever you got today, folks. It's not about how many reps, but just how much control you can maintain. Even if you kind of collapse at the bottom, oh, you gotta reset, go up on the knees, totally legit. Let's go into your down dog. Let's get one more and relax. Side plank time. Ready, begin. Boom, I'm gonna go with the hand, start out with the hand, I'm gonna go with the leg up. I like to think of myself as a starfish. Whoa. And we just squeeze the glutes, got the hips forward, stacked on top of each other. We're already halfway through, no problem, all right, folks? Make sure we're breathing, hips are high. There you go. We got six, five, four, three, two, one, relax right there. Switch it on up. How are we feeling, Linda? Ready, set, go. Other side. Single leg puts a whole lot more work here on that glute, on the hip. Make sure it's driving into the ground. Make sure you're driving your foot into the ground, dorsiflexing that ankle. If you point the toes, it's going to be way harder. Make sure you pull those toes up towards the knee. Nine seconds here, folks. Legs are high, hips are high. There you go. We got three, two, one, relax. Hot dang, we got enough time for one more set, y'all. We gotta go rapid fire though. Yoga push-ups in three, two, one, hit it. Going down, coming up, down dog. Here we go. I know some of y'all might have that 12.35 meeting we gotta get to. We gotta finish this set one more time. All right, here we go. 15 seconds here, y'all. Keep cranking it out. Hey -ya. Hey -ya. You got eight, seven, six, five. Keep pushing. Three, let's go. Last one. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And recover. Rapid fire, side planks, y'all. Ready, set, go. Elbows are fine, hands are fine. Find what works best for you. If you like shoes, Travis. Why are we taking it easy today? Well, if you want a challenge, go for the knee to elbow. Maybe a couple taps there. I feel like a frog or something when I do this. We got 10 more seconds. Squeeze it in tight. Reach in the hands, reach in the foot. Find some length, expand your body. Reach for new heights and recover. Last set, rapid fire, ready, set. Begin. Again, maybe this side's stronger. You're like, holy smokes, no way I can move my elbow. But maybe this side's stronger. Maybe you can do it on this side. <sighs> maybe we can challenge us. Maybe we fall over and we learn a little something. And that's all right, we just get on up, try again. Maybe we gotta work the elbows a little bit more. Maybe we gotta do some more uh, single leg RDLs. Strengthen the hips. We got three seconds here, y'all. Rapid fire, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba. Whoa! 
and recover right there. Hot dang, folks. Woo! Got a little sweaty today. That's all we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for hopping in, joining me on this Monday post-holiday weekend. I know plenty of folks got to play catch up, but y'all gave yourself some time. Give everybody some TLC. I really appreciate that. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next Monday. If you have any questions, guys, find me on the Facebook group, road running, emails, whatever you got. We can get you set up. All right. Adios, y'all. Thanks. Thank you, Sunday.